planning and research because it's about more than just a good meal. For Mrs. Trump, for any first lady, this is a really important opportunity to be a partner in these diplomatic efforts. Okay. Since 1874, the White House has been hosting state dinners as a way to welcome foreign leaders to America. Anita McBride, the former chief of staff to First Lady Laura Bush, says the meals are about building relationships. They're a little nicer with a glass of wine with entertainment, with beautiful flowers and, you know, with, you know, people at the, at hopefully on their best behavior. Every detail is carefully researched from which set of china to use, the wines, menu and entertainment, all meant to showcase America's best. There is not, you know, a detail about that event that they don't know about and are not influencing. And like any hot ticket event, the guest list can be the trickiest element. The state dining room can only fit 134 people. So with help from a number of government offices, the first couple must decide who will be interesting and influential party guests. No matter who a president is, being invited to a state dinner is a big deal. Being honored with the first state dinner of an administration shows the president takes a foreign in relationship very seriously. Politically for both countries, that is sending a signal from the top down uh, that these are um, uh, relationships to be nurtured. And while first ladies and presidents have been hosting state dinners for well over a century, each couple has the chance to make the events entirely their own. We're still waiting for a few more details from the White House, like what Mrs. Trump will be wearing and who made the final cut on the guest list. We do know the colors will be cream and gold, and they'll be using both the Bush and Clinton China. The event officially begins tonight at 7 p.m. local time here in D.C. Andrea Troy.